Now to Kenosha, where Pleasant Prairie officers are investigating a man who died in police custody. Pleasant Prairie police say they were taking a man to the Kenosha County Jail when he took his own life. Mary Jo Ola reports. We're on the east side of the Kenosha County Jail off busy Sheridan Road. Pleasant Prairie police say two officers were transporting a man here for weapons related crimes when they heard a gunshot from the back seat. Searching your rescue right now, right now. We need rescue. We got a male with a gunshot wound to the head. Pleasant Prairie police officials say the man shot himself using a concealed gun that was not located by officers during the initial search. They tried to save him, but the man died at the scene. Josie Rodriguez was across the street when she noticed something was going on. That it was just a line of cars and um, people were like redirecting traffic a few blocks over. There was definitely an error somewhere. Andre Williams is a retired police captain. He shared insight on general police procedures. If it's a two person conveyance, um, the passenger is kind of supposed to keep, be keeping an eye on the prisoner, making sure that, you know, one, that they're medically OK and two, they're not doing something that they shouldn't be doing in the back of the car. Per state law, an outside agency is taking over the investigation. In this case, it's the Racine County Sheriff's Office. Now that could take weeks. Authorities have not released information on the prisoner who died or if he was in handcuffs. In Kenosha, Mary Joola, TMJ4 News. Coming up on the news at 6, Ben Jordan goes in depth on the protocols when police search suspects for guns.